All right, welcome to episode 23. <laughs> you look scared, Amber. What do you think of the new seats? Kind of dark in there. All right, welcome to episode, I think it's 23, of the Datsun Restore. <laughs> My dog's freaked out. I finally uh, get the truck primered and painted. Yay. And uh, finally figured out some headlight fixes. I 3D printed this uh, 510 clip. It didn't work out. It doesn't look anything like the... Uh, 521 clip so I had a friend of mine make me some and CAD I print them on my printer don't eat them dog and they work okay but I actually already snapped one off so I went ahead and just converted them to square this is what the 620s use I just bought a bunch from Thailand found these on eBay I already mentioned I got like 30 of them and they seem to work really good so I've already installed some headlights with these bird and square holes that's what this video is going to cover I uh, Talk about the marker lights, start restoring those, and uh, something else probably. Anyways, enjoy 23, like, subscribe, and don't call me when I make a video. <laughs> Alright, I was just hooking up the fuel lines and the vent line, and I think this one goes up to the left side, to the carb, and this one goes to the fuel tank. And what I tested, I blew on this and it went up to the pump, and there's a vent line I just reinstalled the fuel tube the other day. That was fun. It's the original one. And there's still one more vent up here. So I guess I'm just gonna cap that because I got rid of the, uh, the big ugly tank. But uh, this is the coolest thing. So I've got nothing but Nissan trucks, right? 620, 720, D21s, D40 obviously. Now my son's got a D41. But um, this is the first truck. It's got a little door to the gas tank. And all the Mottas and Quests and Maximas and Sentras and all that stuff have a door underneath the back carpet but uh trucks you always have to drop the tank but check this out got a little door i was gonna weld this up but i was like you know what this was so easy to hook these wires up and hook up these hoses i am gonna keep this even though i may change the tank in the future uh i think i'll work it into man that thing is so i'm gonna have to make it sure it lines up in this hole Pretty damn cool. Thank you, Nissan. So here's where the, uh, some weird tank. It was a, basically a vacuum canister, pre-vacuum canister uh, technology. Get rid of that thing. Don't need it. Well, I just put a gallon of gas in it. So uh, getting close to starting this thing. And I just uh, grinded down all these little rust spots. I don't know why this side had rust spots. The other side's like perfect. And sand it down and primed it, so it needs more sanding, but it's good enough for now. There's uh, less than a can of primer. I'll sand just the cab. Still have a lot of sanding to do on the bed. Blocked out a lot of this black stuff. That's not even a full coat, but I got inside the doors on both sides. Oh, and all around the windshield, most of it. Man, I need to buy another can or two of primer. Here's the instructions, by the way. Primer, paint, clear coat, polish. It's all on every can. At least these old cans, that's the old color scheme. Starting to get there. Just sand it on the bed. Got to primer that next. Finally have this out of the truck. One color. I think I finally have the whole truck primer. Well, except for the hood. Uh, at least uh, one coat. If not more. Oh my gosh. See, lots more dense. I just gotta uh, keep moving on. It's looking good. Only like one color. 
I don't know if you can tell, but I just put one coat of paint on the cab, not the bed, just the cab, inside and out. Just one thin coat. It's almost a whole can. The more I paint it, the more little things I find. But, uh, I'm gonna take the tag off. I'm liking it. It's really hard to paint in there. You even got the top of this. This is all going to be white. It's going to be black liner. It's looking good, says Darth Vader. Yeah, I just found two new dents. I've never even noticed these two dents before ever. I know about that one. I'm going to do that on phase two. I'm going to touch in more dents. I'll be here for years trying to fix all these dents. All right, I think I've got the cab. It's got a good coat of paint inside the doors and outside. At least one good coat. Just primered up the bed. I mean, just sanded and primered the bed. Now I got a couple of broken bolts. Those are going to be fun to get out. I tried to take out the door and the bolts broke. So I just painted over them. I got the little door straightened out. A little bent. I got it straightened out. I'm assuming it's supposed to be flat. This thing is awesome. I was able to drill out both broken bolts. One of them snapped off right away, so the whole end of the bolt had to drill through. Just did a small bit and then a couple sizes up. And uh, now I just successfully tapped the six millimeters. So now the trick is. And I top tap the bottom hole, six millimeters. Backup plan is uh, I could put like a three millimeter bolt nut because you can get to the back side. I'm gonna try to tap that bottom one. I don't know if there's enough room, it's pretty tight. And my ratchet, I don't know if this is gonna work. I got it, I got the gas door. There's not even enough room for this tool in here. I had to do it on a slight angle so the bolt's not perfectly 90 degrees, but I won't tell if you won't tell. It's our little secret. And by the way, I did put a gallon of gas in here about a week ago. Got all the gas lines hooked up, all the hoses. So, uh, getting close to start. But I'm sitting here drilling and grinding on here, and I'm like, I got gas in this flipping tank now. There's actually a little vent line on the top that I didn't connect. There's one extra vent hose right here. I don't know where it's supposed to go. But, uh, ah, so relieved now. I got those tapped. Now I just gotta fix the two windshield wiper bolts that are busted. So, why is these things green? Just sanding the uh, vent. And I noticed that the gas tank door and this have got this green undercoat. I guess it's a primer. I thought the truck was originally green or something, but the truck was always white. But only this and the gas tank other thing, that other panel was green underneath the white. So I'm not sure if this is like a, some kind of weird primer. I don't know, but it, there's three things on this truck that have the green underneath and nothing else. Uh, is this a primer? If you, if you know, let me know down below because I don't know what, what to think of this other color. I guess it's a primer? I don't know. I'm thinking on painting this black to contrast since it's going to be a lot of work to paint it separately. Might as well make it black, right? Get a little contrast to match the bed. It's going to be all black. Black tires. Get a little uh, white and black action. Alright, so I'm finally pl plugging the holes in the bed. I just welded up this one. It's a big, huge uh, one. Now I'm doing this one. I made a circle for it out of some old sheet metal. Then I dropped it. Couldn't find it anywhere. So I made another one. Then I lost that one. And I finally found this one. So an hour later, I'm going to weld it in. I just bought some new glazing spot putty. Touch up all the little spots. I think I'm officially done with all the dents that I think I can fix. There's some bigger ones that I don't know if I can fix. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it now. I wasn't going to fix every single dent. But uh still need to sand these spots again. 
Sand putty, sand putty, primer, sand putty, primer, sand. It's all I've been doing every day, it seems like. But, uh, it's looking really good, actually. I'm really surprised how good it is. Probably look worse when it's painted, but just got those two holes welded up in the bed so I could actually paint the bed when I'm all done painting the truck well in a vinyl line it or whatever so yeah I just got to uh, primer the bedsides this has actually got some white paint on it and then I uh, paint the whole truck white again all right I just finished the second coat of white with a different gun I used my cobalt uh, Lowe's 1.4 gun seemed to work better than my other gun. Pretty happy with this. Uh, now I could really see the dents, but covered a lot better. I think that gun. So I think I'm gonna do another coat or two, and then I'm gonna clear it. I'll come back and try to fix the dents another time. That's the uh, best I could do for now. I had to take the plastic over that one to get flying off. It's gonna look good, black and white. That Stormtrooper look, I guess. Black, white, a little bit of chrome, and a little bit of red. All right, here's a little time lapse of me uh, painting the truck. I actually <laughs> forgot I did the pull-ups. I forgot to just leave that in there, what the hell. But uh, here I am mixing the paint. You gotta mix this stuff really good. If you don't mix it good enough, then when you pour it through the strainer into the the gun it'll come out all clumpy and if it's clumpy there it'll never uh it won't print uh paint correctly so that's the trick with these things they say there are already no uh thinning required and that seems to be true i think maybe when you get down to the bottom of the can you may need to thin it a little bit because there's still some material left but generally i find that if you just keep stirring these cans even the clear which has like no hard stuff in it you have to stir them really good and uh, then they seem to print uh, paint really good but this is me just painting the whole truck in time-lapse um, you can see I use a little stool to paint the top of the cab I'm actually painting inside and outside of the doors really good I'm trying to get most of the coat on there because I want to put the glass and doors back together and put the windows in and then I'm, so I'm putting more layers there and then I can always come back later and uh, you know paint a bed or a fender or the outside. And I don't need to remove the windshield for that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do a phase two painting after the truck's running, driving and everything. Later on I'll come back and do... Alright, so phase one of the painting is done. I just got one coat of clear coat on this thing. Not enough, but it is for now. I still got a lot of dents, man. I hate to roll this thing in the sun. I can see all the little dings in the bed. Uh, the bed needs a lot more work, but I just need to uh, keep the ball rolling here. I'm going to come back and touch up everything. I just did a lot of clear coat all around the windows so I can get the windows back in and start to drive it. And then I can repaint as I fix more dents in the next phase. But phase one is just get this thing back on the road. Still got a clear coat tail, tailgate, gas tank, the uh, hood thingy. Doesn't even have a coat of paint on it, as you can see over there. Still got lots to do, but got, I think, two good clear coats all around the cab, around the windows, on the inside. Well, I had it all taped off because I don't want to have to do that ever again. But got what it looks like inside here. It's still black. That's good. So, uh, Oh my god, this tape. Don't ruin my black paint, please. I'm gonna repaint them inside again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, now I gotta... I don't even know what I'm gonna do next. So many things to do. I did have to buy two new calipers, by the way. This caliper I got from the junkyard is seized. Can't get it to move. This one actually works, but it's kind of sticky. So I just bought two new front calipers. I still haven't finished bleeding the clutch. I do have a gallon of gas in it. I just need to buy a battery. I'm working on the wiring harness now. I want to start this thing. I'm so close. So close. I don't know when I'm going to do the hood. 
Got to get the hood done. Got to get paint on that. Get it back on. But in theory, I think I could put the glass front and back in and the doors in. That was kind of my focus. Just try to get all the glass back in. That is the number one priority. So let's get working on glass. Alright, so I'm going to try to restore these original park lights. I just took this one apart, just uh, what I do, I use a red scratch part, scotch pad and cleaned up the stainless. Soap watered the uh, original ends. Now I'm taking the rubber off the steel. I'm going to dip it in acid. i got one going in the backyard. The wires actually look really good on that one. These are the fronts. Luckily they're all labeled right hand left hand. You can see they're pretty rusty on the back. I'm going to paint the insides with a chrome paint. I think I actually have some chrome paint. Take these bulbs out and convert them all to LED at the same time. That's going to be the tricky part is getting these bulbs out. But this one got overspray. That wasn't for me. That was the way I bought it. Somebody bought it. didn't bother to take them off. But I'm going to paint the rubbers black. I did this on my 74 or so. Strip them apart. Good thing is these just come apart. No tools required, just uh, so rubber is amazing cheap. They do sell these brand new, a set of four for, I forget how much it was, 20 bucks, 50 bucks or something. Which isn't bad for four lights. But these original ones, from 69 or 70, they maybe be able to save them. So now, I'll wash that in soap and water and paint it. And uh, I'd be curious if that bulb still works, but it, I'm going to see if I can get that out and, uh, yeah, you, is that a crack in the rust? Oh, I think it is. Oh, yeah, I think this is bulged. Oh, should I just buy new ones or should I try to retrofit these to, uh, even maybe just use new ones of these? I don't know. We'll see. That doesn't look good. I think this is actually swelled up from all the rust. These came out pretty clean, except for inside this lens. It's actually a two-piece design. You can't get in there to clean that out, fortunately. But the other ones came out clean. I just wire wheel these. I cleaned them with a red Scotch Brite. Then I had to kind of wire wheel them to get rid of the paint. And these I just uh, Scotch Brite to get the paint off. So uh, they're ready to go. Just got to paint the lenses now. A little shower of acid on here. They're looking better though already. Look at that one. That one looks pretty good. That's just like 30 minutes of cleaning. And I just uh, sanded this thing all down. I think I'm going to paint this black. I'm also painting all my little electronics black. There's actually, I just finished reading the wiring harness. There's only like four relays, like heater, horn, headlights, and wipers, I think it was, maybe. I don't know, there's four, and I got like two extras. I think I'll modernize the headlight ones for safety. But uh, I'll just paint all these anyways, because I don't know which one's going to use. But uh, yeah, this one has some paint on it. It does have some cracks. So the thing with these lights is uh, they're all identical chrome. They're all identical uh, lenses. Only the rubber is different. This is kind of cool. It's actually labeled 521, front, right hand. 521, right, left hand. 521, right, right hand. So they're all labeled which front or back, left or right. Pretty cool. So yeah, these rubber is the only thing that's unique on the lights. And uh, they're really re well designed because I think on a 510 and like a 210, like an 810, these uh, prevent water from getting inside the car. But on a truck, they're on the fender and the bed. It's not going into the interior space. So, uh, paint these up. So, that's the first step. It gets rid of uh, that extra layer of steel. That makes the hole the right size for the square. And the second step is to then convert the 
the round hole to a square hole using a triangle, of course. And so I'm not even going to mark it. Actually, I'm going to, what is it called? Okay, that didn't take long at all. That looks pretty square. And then, there you go. You can actually take these things back out. So this will be a test. Uh, that's the top. So that's, uh, I don't know if you can see. Ah! The 620 style, 3D printed style. Let's see which one lasts. Well, this one's loose and this one came out really nice and tight. This one's loose. It's bugging me. It didn't work because I wanted the stupid 3D printer. My 3D printer broke, so I can't make any more. So here's how to make a round hole square. First drill the hole out as big as you can with a drill bit. And then you put the triangle triangle file in the bottom and go you can see this. I'm going to go like this and go to the corners and just basically go to the outside of the circle on this side and the outside on this side. So you go back and forth and you basically, basically make that circle wall flat and then you just do the same thing on the top, make that one flat and then do the same thing on the sides, make those two flat. Next thing you'll know, you'll have a square hole, same size as the circle. There we go. So we got them both done. I didn't take too long. It's only 100 degrees out here. What time is it? It's like the hottest time of the day. 4:35. Five o'clock is the heat of the day. It's probably 100 degrees a day. Ah, uh, so that's done. Now let's put the buckets in and see if they work. I got lucky. Six millimeter does fit through the original hole. I didn't think it would. So I already uh, all the broken bolts from the headlights. I created them six, and then the ones that weren't broken, I just went ahead and retapped them to six millimeter. So now everything on the front end is six millimeter for the headlights. So I just found a bunch of old bolts, different colors, and I just spray painted them, wire wheeled them, painted those gold bezels black. Put a couple more coats on here. I think I got three coats on the rubbers now. I keep spraying these with acid. One of these is looking actually. That one looks. Yeah, that thing is like brand new. Some of these, that one, not so much. I haven't even wire wheeled that or anything. This is just a couple of coats of acid. And it's sit and bake. Yeah, pretty nasty. Ooh, it's like foaming up. I think it's anodized or something. Anyways, let's see if we can resurrect those somehow. Also got, I think, three coats on this air vent. I think that looks good. Just need to put some screws in there. Got the lights mocked up. Those are looking good. <clears throat> I haven't got the lenses in. I'm still cleaning the uh, lights. Just kind of mocking them up. 
These headlights grills had some rust on the inside. Already been soaking for about an hour. Hope this stuff doesn't hurt rust. Here's my original bumper. Pretty rusty on the inside. Let's see if I can save it. Get any worse. Ooh, that stinks. I just tested one of these and it still works. I think it's actually this one I tested. So I cut wires. I tested two of them. The two of them actually work. I haven't tested the other two. I was able to get the bulb out of one of them. I think they're cleaning up pretty nice, amazingly. I also painted these things. I didn't like the uh, gold look. I know it's factory, but I think this black looks better. Here's what the light looks like when you take it apart. Actually just push up the lower boot and spring and you can clean it all up. I'm still trying to figure out how to fix these. I think most of mine are broken. These things are not cheap. I think I found some on eBay, for like 50 bucks or something. And some cheap ones for like Chevys for like all four of them for like 20 bucks. I almost, almost bought them, but I think the spacing is proprietary. I don't think it's a standard, unfortunately. Just from looking at the pictures, it looked different. So, I don't know if I can weld these things. I'm almost thinking about putting a tiny bolt through there, but I don't know if that's going to work. And I think I need these things even for LED lights. I think I need to keep these stainless rings. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you want to see more. Truck's coming along. One coat of white paint. No clear coat yet.